Hi everyone! Today we're looking at the Colouring Heaven calendar for 2021. So we had last year's calendar which I reviewed and I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go back and just check out that calendar. This one is very much in the same vein. It has a different artist, a different picture for every single month of the year and it's just absolutely beautiful. So as with Colouring Heaven books you'll see we've got this gold foiling to the title. It says it's a month to view colouring calendar featuring exclusive designs from 13 of the world's top colouring artists. So you'll recognise these artists from previous Colouring Heaven editions. It says 50p from every calendar is donated to Mind, the mental health charity, which is, you know, it's really close to my heart. So very, very glad that they're um, supporting Mind. And then on the back, you've just got quick thumbnails of the images that are inside. So you can have a look and see what you're getting. So let's open it up and see. So it's like this, you've got the image taking up the full width of the calendar at the top, and then down here you'll have your actual filling in bit. So for example, there's January and February, and it also tells you the person who has designed the illustration for that month. So I'll just show you the, the tops of the calendar because I think you know what the bottoms will look like. <laughs> so this one is by Nalik Shoemaker, I think. It looks like hers. Yeah, here we go. So designed by Nalik Shoemaker and you can see what it looks like here. So gorgeous, gorgeous design. We've got an owl and this, again, with Nalik's work, it's always about the costumes, I think. She just produces some beautiful looking costumes. It's almost like something you'd see in The Witcher or some kind of medieval um, drama. So the next one is for January and it's by Zan von Zed and it's very much um, clean lines, very crisp. Uh, there's lots of blank areas for you to colour in, so it's not like there's an awful lot of intricate detail and it's all contained within a circle border as well. It's got a little bit of an oriental theme to this, so um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure throughout this calendar you'll find something that you love, if not all of it, because it's, it's all really, really well-known, very talented illustrators. So for February, we've got Jasmine Beckett Griffith, as you can see here. It doesn't say that there's a name for the design, so she's probably either designed it for the catalogue exclusively. Did it say exclusive? Yes, it did. Exclusive. So it's designed for calendar itself. So yeah, big eyed beauty from Jasmine, everything you'd come to expect from her. And we have the heart, of course, because it's February, but it does have a band-aid on it, so and she is crying, so I'm guessing broken hearted. Not great. Um this next one is from Fabiana Trier and it's the design for March. So you can see a lot more detail is going on here. Uh, we've got the bird in the background just perched. In fact, there's two birds here and we have little flowers all intertwined with her hair. She's also got a little tiny moth on her fingers, which is really cute. Next, we've got art by Yuriko Shiru. So again, completely different. This is April's design and you can see that we have patchwork balloons here. Um, it's kind of a lot more shaded and grayscale than the previous images are. And it's a little bit alternative, I think. I love it. So you can see she's got stitched up arms. The rabbit hat that she's wearing has got um, safety pins through it. And it, yeah, like I said, it's really kind of alternative. I absolutely love it. So this is probably my favorite image from the whole book, actually. It's by Christine Karen, and it's the image for May, which is my birth month, so that's good. And as you can see, it's a little baby mermaid. It's really sweet and round and cute. And yeah, I just, I adore it. The hair as well, really nice and curly. There's pearls in between. And yeah, it's just such a sweet image. We've then got June, which features art by Kelly O'Gorman. And as you can see, it's a portrait surrounded by this floral frame. Again, with a couple of birds, there's some bees in there as well. And I think we've got roses and sunflowers with this one. These little ones as well, I think they're pansies or something. But yeah, again, really, really nice image. Now you might have noticed a printing error across your calendar. It's just very, very slight. It's just a line all the way across. Doesn't make any difference to me, but Colouring Heaven said that they will donate extra money to Mind for those editions that have been sold, so that's good. Here's the one that I've started. It's the July image and it's by Kanoko Igusa. So we remember her from I think she's done two Colouring Heavens now, hasn't she? And she always does really realistic looking animals and nature. So you can see we've got the giraffe, we've got um, the tortoise, the hedgehogs that I've coloured. Then we've also got an elephant, a flamingo and a monkey. I think that's it for the animals. But it's again, it's that kind of depth of the image. You can see all the stuff that's going on in the background with the bridge. And then you've got the foreground here. And I really like the composition of this. 
So um, I tried to make this look like a path, like a gravel path with some moss on it, but it ended up looking a bit like ice, which was odd. But anyway, I'm really happy with how the uh, giraffe has turned out. I really love that. And uh, yeah, so excited to keep colouring that one. Then we've got August and this image is by Jash Lee. And as you can see, it's got a little bit, well, I think it's a little bit of an anime feel to the character. And in the background, there's so much going on. We've got a couple of whales coming out of the sea, this huge wave. We've got dolphins. Uh, we've got a rubber duck on a surfboard, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's one of those that's got so much detail to it. You're going to have to have a really good look as you're colouring and see what else is hidden inside. So for September, we've got Dawn Davidson, again, another fantastic illustrator, definitely uh, one of the top portrait illustrators, I think, for colouring books. And as you can see, she's holding a bowl full of corn on the cobs and it's got that kind, it's got that kind of harvest feel to it. So I guess that's why it's the image for September. Lovely. So October is Jana Prosverina. And again, it's another sort of harvest themed image. You can see she's got the pumpkin. She's got the oak leaves and the acorns around her headdress and some toadstools as well. For November, we've got good old Hannah Lynn. She has a cornucopia of treats here from the, the autumn season. So we've got pumpkins and again, corn on the cobs and things like that. And in the background, we've got a beautiful rolling hills and floating leaves. Finally, for December, we've got something completely different. So this is by Alchemy England 1977. And as you can see, it is a full grayscale image of a dragon. And he's curled up in front of the fire. We've got the bellows here. And you can see this beautiful fireplace with the Christmas um, garland across there as well. This would be amazing colour. I can't wait to see how people approach this because it's obviously quite a dark scene with the bright light of the fire and it's, it's going to cast quite a lot of this into relief. So it's going to be interesting to see how people approach it um, with obviously the different light sources and things like that. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So that is the whole calendar for 2021. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. I'd love to know. Of course, links will be in the description for you to get your own calendar. And I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.